You know, truth of the matter is I have no idea why we do this on Tuesdays, but it's Tuesday morning, so here's your Tuesday morning tech tip from Puglisi Speed Shop. All right, so one of the many, many struggles of working on this old hard body have been the wheels. So these wheels are the ones that were on it when we bought it. They don't really fit the look of the truck that I'm going for. This one is in better shape than the rest, but it's also a completely different size. And, uh, you know, the tires don't hold air. Some of them do. It's a dry rotted, so just, yeah, forget about it, right? We're not going to do that. So then uh, stumbled across this smoking deal for a set of Silverado OSS wheels. Problem, they just didn't fit the truck. I mean, they kind of, they fit the truck, just didn't, uh, not the look, right? They're a little bit too much. Maybe if I slammed it or bagged it, I'll use them on something else because, you know, they're a good looking wheel, but not for this one. So then, uh, well, we tried this guy out, right? We had a set of them for free because we're not going to use them on that truck. Just not, man, if it was, if it was a four wheel drive, if it was a free runner, this would have worked, but uh, not the look we're going for. So then we stumbled upon these on the old Facebook marketplace. Silverado wheels, six lug. Everybody's using Silverado wheels and Escalade wheels. Escalade wheels. I don't know what an Eskimo wheel is, but yeah. So uh, hey, let's give it a shot. It's supposed to bolt right up. So like we said, we got the six lug wheel here. Six lug bolt pattern should go right up. Well, we're half right. So the bolts all line up, no problem. Center bore is off. Never really thought about that. So what are we gonna do, right? Thought about finding better Nissan wheels. They're few and far between, and seems how whenever I do find something that's decent, nowhere near me, right? So it's like, well, what are we gonna do, right? This whole time since I bought this thing, I'm like, set of Silverado wheels will fit right on it. That's because that's what everybody said, right? Do your research. I'm telling you what. Everybody starts looking at stuff on the internet and they see stuff and they assume it's going to bolt right up or whatever. And I was one of those guys. So I did do some more research and I figured out it's an aluminum wheel, right? Uh, Got to be a way to make the hole bigger. Why not bore it out? So that's what we're going to do. Got ourselves a router. We got ourselves a half inch rabbiting router bit. Uh, what else we got? Some eye protection, some gloves, and a little bit of motivation. Should be all we need to get it done. go as planned right obviously it was chewing right through it tons of uh, aluminum here and it was going well till the bit broke so right there you see a little notch yeah it's supposed to kind of come out and go all the way down that happened but luckily we already have one done so uh try this guy out on the truck So here's the one that we already had done. And uh, there you go. She's on.
Well, you have it. Now it fits on. Not 100% sure if we can run this guy. We got the center cap for it. But the, uh, it's, you know, Silverado stuff, right? So it spins on to the lug nuts for the Silverado. Doesn't fit these. So maybe we'll figure something out. I don't know. But it sounds good either way, really, to be honest with you. So we'll see how it works out. So, I think today's tech tip is about boring out wheels for a Nissan hard body. Make better decisions when shopping for wheels. Quality tools. Plant. It could be about a lot of things, guys. Because I think I kind of demonstrated everything you don't want to do. Apparently, I didn't do the proper research and bought wheels that didn't fit. Then, uh, well, you can make them fit. And this is a common thing, guys. It's not, I'm not splitting atoms over here, right? Boring out the center of the wheel is not. There's about a thousand videos on YouTube for it. You can take it to a machine shop, probably spend 100, 150 bucks, get it done. Um, I spent 15 bucks on a router bit. Well, now 30, because I had to get another one. Um, and we'll get it done. Fun fact, nobody carries that half inch, around me anyways. Lowe's, Home Depot, Tractor Supply, Ace, Harbor Freight, none. Nope. And like, in like a 45 minute to an hour radius around me, none of them got them. So I had to order it. Uh, Amazon, $15. We'll see. But uh, the point is, it works, right? Now, I did watch a video before I, I watched a couple of them, and one of the guys broke his also. And I don't know, you saw a jerk. Uh, I assume that's when it happened. I watched some guys going the wrong way. Like, my router's got arrows on it, which direction to go. So, the one guy that broke his bit was going the wrong way. I wasn't, but it happened, right? So, quality tool... It was off Amazon. I mean, whatever. I got the thing here. Let's see, let's see what kind of it is. We got here Saber Tools. So, yeah, probably not. But there's the only way I could be here the next day. So, that's that. I'm rambling. I get it. But uh, I'm pretty aggravated. So, maybe it won't be the best tech tip. Or maybe it'll be a great tech tip and show you that. When you do plan things out, you're trying to do things, no matter what you do. Because actually, I bought all this, the, the bit and all that kind of stuff, like, during the week. Thought I had everything I needed, right? <laughs> nope. So now I got two wheels done. And uh, we'll wait till tomorrow to get the bit. So, sometimes, guys, even when you plan everything you want to plan, it don't always work out, right? It's part of, it's part of this hobby that frustrates me to the core. But at the same time, when you have a win, it's what keeps you coming back, right? It is what it is. But uh, the wheel fits. Well, half the wheels fit. And, uh, yeah, we'll do the other half tomorrow. We'll throw some tires on it. And hopefully get this thing out of the shop, you know? Thanks for watching, guys.